the seven days of Genesis, or 7,000 years, and learn what Simon Peter said, the day of the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years a day, then uh, we're standing on the threshold of the greatest Shabbat of all. And all the things that were to have happened during the Sabbath will be fulfilled in this coming millennium. I, uh, I think about the two candlesticks, which by tradition the lady of the house will light in the Jewish household. Uh, those two candlesticks are spoken of more than once. And also here in Zechariah. 4.11 Then answered I, and said unto him, What are these two olive trees? Mm. Upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof. Now Paul uses that in the book of Romans. The two olive branches, he calls them. And one is the tame and one is the wild. And it doesn't take much reading and much knowledge to see that he's talking about the Jewish people being the tame olive branch and the Gentile branch being added later as the wild. And here it, it comes from the book of Zechariah. And, and it said, Then answered I and said to him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side? And I answered again and said to him, What be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves. He answered me and said, Knowest not thou what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. And he said, These are the two anointed ones. Mm -hmm. Now there's two elements of people right now that God is anointing. Uh, Brother Giovanni was, was asking or, or stating earlier to me uh, about <coughs> what is the message for this time? The message for this time is that God is anointing a group from among the Jewish people and a group from among the Gentiles. And there's to be a joinder together of those two elements in order to fulfill the word of God. Uh, heretofore, that hasn't been possible in Christendom. Uh, Christianity has uh, rejoiced in the things that they have found for themselves in the word of God. Uh, but have failed, absolutely, utterly failed to understand that God had a major part in this very time that we're in of the natural Jewish people. Jewish people are the people that God chose to reveal himself to the world and the rest of the world in his mercy he's brought in together as one. It was his plan from the beginning that we should be one. The giftings and calling of God are irrevocable. So if we can believe that God would renege on his promises to Israel which he made so long ago, how can we possibly expect him to keep the promises that we believe he's made to us? Surely he is a faithful God, as it says, he remains faithful. Have you ever wondered what the tree of life is? <coughs> it's spoken of in, in the first book of the Bible, in the last book of the Bible. The tree of life is when those two branches come together, the tame and the wild olive branches, and the leaves of that tree are going to be for the healing of the nations. <coughs> oh, hallelujah. The leaves of that tree, that's the precepts, the laws, the truths of that coming together of Jew and Gentile. 
And there's 12 manner of fruit. Do you know that the 12 tribes of Israel that are soon to take their place in the 12 areas of this holy land here? I don't care what they tell you out here. They're, those the Jews are physically going to take their place in the 12 places that are appointed in the Bible. Amen. And, and there's going to be fruit. Every one of those tribes has a specific fruit for, for the rest of the world. I believe that because the Bible says it. The fruit of that tree is going to be uh, that the, the, the nations will eat as they come up to Jerusalem. <coughs> and the nations that come not up, no rain shall fall on their land. I expect there to be a topogra topographical change in this world before too much longer. The earth earthquakes that are occurring, occurring right now are, are just a, a symbol of something that's going to happen in the near future. As, as the world begins to go into transition, as it's headed this time, and Jesus prophesied that there would be goat nations and sheep nations, didn't he? The names of them, goat nations and sheep nations. Those are those that accept Israel, those that do not accept Israel. And I hate to say it, but I come from a nation that's standing on the border right now of being a goat nation. God only knows what will happen to that nation when that happens. The nation that forgets God will be turned into, not cast into, it will be turned into a hell. 